Conditions in King Williamstown in the Eastern Cape, just one of many across the country today. Let's see how the various political parties and provincial governments mark the day. Marching in honor of those killed in Langa in 1960. They too were marching against pass laws. 20 were killed and scores injured. 57 years later, the ruling party labelled the biggest violator of human rights by failing to address unemployment, poverty and inequality. The so-called RDP township houses that are built for our people, they do not have land. And the only reason why these uh, martyrs died, they died for the return of the, our land. The talk about rights, it's more paper talk than reality because the lived experience of the vast majority of our people is that their right to a decent life, their right to dignity is violated perpetually and continuously. We have to remind those that are in authority that by not taking care of people on the ground, by not ensuring that people have enough water to drink, clean water to drink, they do not have electricity, they are violating their human rights. The 69 sharpful victims also remembered We've got to stand up here today and say, how do we ensure that with the legacy that we have here today, we address that injustice and build an inclusive South Africa for all. That is the struggle. And when we talk about human rights today, it's a journey that we've got to build towards securing the rights of all South Africans. In Mpumalanga, a street parade, but the focus of the day, exploited farm dwellers. We are here to encourage them to know and understand their rights and to participate in all government activities to get the information that they need. A similar initiative in KwaZulu-Natal aimed at improving relations between farm workers and employees. We had to go to two farms where there was the engagement with the farmers and we established from the farmers what the challenges were they informed us uh, we established from the farm workers what their challenges were uh, and we are ready to engage with all of those issues political differences also put aside on human rights day we are happy and united as different political parties. We are here to celebrate our heroes. And a human rights victory relished. A high court ruling stopped a self-proclaimed prophet from using pesticides and other chemicals on his followers. We won that, uh, that battle on behalf of our people. And this, in as far as I'm concerned, is victory for human rights. Meanwhile, the EFF used the day to ask whether the lives of Africans have changed since the massacre. We have to make proper ideological reflections at a branch level so that we can be able to get a clear path in terms of what do we do moving forward as the organization. So we came to make reflections on ideological questions. A reminder that for every right celebrated, one is yet to be realized. Chris Alda Lewis, SABC News.